1,300 grams. This baby plus these. This is what you save if you take out your ABS unit. Should you take out your ABS unit? I think definitely not. At, at least if you want to ride your bike street legal and uh, it doesn't make sense to take it off. If you're going 99% or more off-road only and you constantly have to switch off your ABS and it drives you mad like it did with me, you could. Well, as I said, maybe you shouldn't, but you could. And if you're interested, how much it weighs, how much weight you will save, there yeah, you've got your answer. In the end, you will save even a lot more because when you take off the ABS unit, you should definitely go with a one disc brake conversion. Makes sense. It saves a lot of weight in the unsprung mass. And uh, I will cover this in a separate video. For today, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit in a rush. We are taking off for a trip to Andalusia. If you've seen before, you've already heard about this. Uh, we're taking off tomorrow. I'm not able to finish the next part of the Andalusian riding video from last year in time, but uh, I want to put out an episode, you know, the YouTube algorithm thingy. So for today, it's a little bit more techy. I will go to weigh all this, show you the weight of, uh, or show you some proof that it actually weighs 1,300 grams, if you do not believe me. And uh, hey, you've got it. It's a short one today. Enjoy. Hope you learned something. If you've got questions, down in the card. Talk next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. If you're going to type, is this street legal or is this TUV approved in Germany? No, it's not. Don't, don't do this. Don't type this down in the comments. It's, it's not legal. And I will put it back in, of course. Definitely. Straight after this video.